sa YouTube, alright? Saka sa mga nababasa ko sa Google na gusto kong i-share sa inyo kasi I find it very useful and very uh, helpful kasi yung iba sa kanila mga shortcuts, ayan, mga tricks, ayan, mga math tricks para yung mga iniisip natin na medyo komplikado ang topic sa math ay pwede pa lang isolve ng ganito ganito lang. Ayan. The first math trick that I am going to share with you is uh, how to find the square root of a perfect number Then after that, ito na, hindi tingnan mo, you have the square root of 29. Siya na siya, naglalayan yung 
15. We have 29. So it's between 25 and 36. With the square root of 25 and the square root of 36. So therefore, the square root of 29 lies between 5 and 6. But again, 36 is too much, so we will be taking 5. So therefore, the square root of this number starts with 5. Next, kunin yan, i-multiply sa kasunod na number niya, which is 6. And 5 times 6 is equal to 30. And 30 is greater than 29, so therefore, we will be taking 4. Hence, therefore, the square root of 2,916 is equal to 54. And for our fourth example, you have the square root of 6,084. Look at the last digit, so you have 4. Tingin dito, so it's either 2 or 8. Next, cross out 16. So, yan, square root of 16 is between 60, yeah, 60. So, it's between 49 and 64. And the square root of 49 and the square root of 64. So, therefore, the square root of 60 is just between 7 and 8. But we will not be taking this one. So, we will be taking 7. So, therefore, the square root of this number starts with number 7. Next. Para malaman kung alin dito sa dalawa yung pipiliin natin, multiply lang 7 times yung kasunod na number niya which is 8. And 7 times 8 is equal to 56. 56 is less than 60. Therefore, ang kukunin nating number ay 8. So therefore, the square root of this number, 6084, is simply equal to 78. And for our last example, you have the square root of 9025. Ito madali lang kasi ang last digit niya ay 5. At alam natin kung ano lang ang number na, next, na mayroong 5. And that is, this is 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, alam na natin agad that the square root of this number ends with 5. So hindi na lang natin alam ay kung ano yung uh, first digit. So cross up 90. So 90, the square root of 90 is between the square root of 81 and the square root of 100. Hindi na natin. Ah, okay, so ang square root ng 90 is between 9 and 10. Pero alam na natin yung gagawin. We cannot take this one because it's too much. Therefore, we'll be sticking with 9. And therefore, the square root of 9,025 is equal to 95. Alright, so that's it mga masters. I hope you have learned something. Uh, thank you for watching. Alam nyo, pwede nyo rin gawin ko sa bahay. Kunwari, pag merong mga kapatid, so, sasabihin mo, sige, mag-isip ka ng isang number from 1 to 100. Piliin niya sila. Okay, tapos ang ipibigay nila sa inyo ay yung square ng number na yun. Tapos ang gagawin mo, gagawin mo itong trick na ito, tapos sasabihin mo sa kanila kung anong number yung nabili nila. Maamiss sila sa'yo. Promise. Okay, so, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Uh, and yun, yeah, mag-spun everyone. Bye!